and welcome to The Unexpected. I'm your host Nathan Jones and tonight we are here at the Tom Tom Theatre to see if we can find any ghosts at all. If you want to follow me inside, let's get this investigation cracking. So yes, we're here at the Tom Fun Theatre. I'll introduce you to my team. There's only three of us tonight. First, we've got Ben Edwards. Hello. Cameraman, just sort of helping out as well. It's gonna be, uh, be fun. And then we've also got Nick. Nick Ware. Hello. So yeah, the three of us are gonna stay here for the night and we hope to, uh, hope to catch something. Let's uh, see how we get on. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was... Uh, it was an experience like no other one. So yeah, let's show you around the actual place itself. So here we have the stage. Over here we have the bar seating area. There's only 50 seats here. I did enjoy myself. I had a good time. Saw some things. Um, and had a good night. Cool. If you want to follow me over this way. Count them if you want. This is where the, uh, the toilets are. Here and here. It's a cold breeze when you're walking in. It is pretty chilly, yep. Seems a lot colder than the rest of the place, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, um, if you follow me, around here is the backstage area. Like a kitchenette sort of thing going on here. And then in here, a really creepy backstage area. You can barely see. So yeah, that's basically the place. Um, just to just to give you some history of it, it is the possibly one of the world's smallest theatres with only 50 seating. It was converted in 1897. Before that, it was a coach house, uh, and then converted in, in 1897 into a theatre. And then basically, it's had several owners since. That's pretty much the history of the place. There's been several sightings, usually on the stage, if we draw the curtains, which we will do later on, just before we switch the lights out, you can see people's feet underneath the actual curtains as they appear. Uh, did you find it hard work? Not really. It was, uh, it was harder work to stay awake. Yeah, there's also um, people that sit in the actual seats with you while you're sitting watching something. There'll be people that appear and then they will just head off to the toilets. Apparently the toilets is quite a uh, quite a haunted area. Uh, they'll head off to the toilets and no one will see them again. So that's definitely something we should watch out for tonight as well. We're gonna walk around with the cameras a bit for in the light and then um, in a little while we'll switch off the lights and See if we can get anything at all overnight sort of thing, really. Let's do it. Not really. Staying up was the odd bit. Uh, except from that, it was all good. What the fuck is that? Guys, there's really weird lighting effects here. Look. What is that? That's well weird. Okay, we're going to be in for fun, fun tonight then, surely. How did you feel about going into the dark room? I'm so scared. You can't be scared. It's a dark room. Well then, if you're sceptical, you're just going to be sitting in a dark room for 10 minutes, aren't you? Because later on it's going to be freezing. When you plan on doing it? One go now? Now. A bit scared at first, not going to lie. It was apparently the scariest room in all the uh, theatre. There we go. Right, you've got your torch. Scary, see. There's a seat just there. Just oh, yeah. sit on that. Cool. The red seat. But once she was in there for a bit, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so we've got the stall set up. Um, like I say, that sometimes dances, moves around the stage, gets thrown, so I'm hoping one of our chairs is still there. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to set up control. Here. So, if you have a look, the, uh, we put the X on the floor, glass over dead centre, like that. 
no one goes near it for the rest of the night and then we hope that it moves off of the X at some point. There's mirrors as well. I can't believe that actually made me do this. I'm complaining. Ten. Bear scary. If you cut me out there, it looks like you're proper posing. Oh, it goes proper blurry, but still really creepy. Don't know where the light switch is for in here. Well, what I'll do is I'll just pull the door closed. I'm, I'm, right. I'm happy to do it in the dark, so I'm not bothered about there being lights anyway, if I'm perfectly honest. There's weird lighting effect again. Okay, so uh, I suppose now's the time we should turn off lights? Yes. Okay, should be fun. I'll go do it. If you want to take a seat, I will go switch off the lights. Ooh. Okay. So we've left just the back lights on just to uh, know where we are. I might just step this you come on the stage here. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Did you see or hear anything? Uh, we heard a noise. We went to investigate and it was a pen that was on one side of the room and then it managed to get from that side of the room to the other side of the room. Shut up. On the screen. <laughs> Okay. There's a stool on the stage, if you can move that. Or well, there's a glass with an X underneath it, if you can move that as well. Hey, it's just a light coming from underneath there. Because the curtain doesn't touch the floor. Even if I zoom in, nothing. All the way, and yet... We can see that that clearly. <gasps> the fuck? There's another noise. We haven't got a fucking torch. There was a pen. We had a pen. Well, we heard something being thrown and landing, and uh, we explored and found a pen on the floor. Is there anybody here at all? There is. Torch. There it is. What is the pen's gone? It's not on the side again. What? There it is. It's the same damn pen. What, the one that we put, found earlier? Yeah, that is exactly the same pen that was launched across the floor before. Would you do it again? Yes, I would. I believe. Definitely do it again, wherever the next one is. <laughs>